we cannot stop it. And uh, since we cannot do that, then the, 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 we must do our next best, which is to reduce the amount that lands. And uh, I do believe that we're doing good at that. If you ask if we can do better, I will say yes. But it requires that we get additional resources to be able to, come, to become more effective. So what I would want to see is for us to be able to get the additional resources that we need as soon as possible. What so type of resources? Can, we need to get a radar that detects those planes when they dip below mm -hmm. the um, 3,000 feet. We need to get so you're saying the recent radar that was acquired isn't sufficient? We have not acquired that radar that should come in November. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to go into too much specifics where that radar is concerned and its capabilities. But that radar will still not solve our problem. We still need an additional radar to go along with that. And we're trying to see how we can work with the DEA to get that additional radar. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that um, when we have a truck coming, because we cannot detect exactly where it is going to land. We have several potential landing spots mm -hmm. in the country. The number of persons at ANU is not sufficient. And so we have to take from our regular police officers and uh, the other specialized units, like the MIT, the gang suppression unit, the SPU, to be a part of the response, response to deal with these plane landings. And so we, we deploy in several areas across the country in the event that the plane would land at any of those potential locations. And so that is why I said we take away officers from off the streets who would routinely be patrolling to go and deal with the issue of plane landings. And even with that at times, like I said before, while we cover the potential landing spots that we know, we're seeing now that they're going to land into areas that we won't even class as potential landing spots.